let's understand about species okay now you must have seen that there are certain animals okay which show certain common characteristics similarly there are certain plants which show certain common characteristics so let's say when we come down to animals let's say you have cat you have leopard so they have common characteristics while these are animals they have four legs okay they can climb trees okay they are carnivorous I mean cat also has milk but they also live on flesh of mice and they leopard eats various animals so certain animals or a group of animals or for let's say certain plants so let's say an apple tree or a mango tree the size is big they give fruits okay and they are in the shape of a tree so while one may have apples the other one may actually have mangoes but they are in the shape of a tree so certain animals basically show certain common characteristics certain set of plants also show common characteristics so a group of such animals when I say such animal means animals which show common characteristics or plants okay which have some common and permanent so the other thing to be noted is that these characteristics are permanent in the sense that the legs in the cat are permanent okay so are their eating habits they can climb tree on a permanent basis it's not that the cat will climb tree on one day and she'll fell down on the other so these characteristics have also to be permanent so these groups which have common characteristics and permanent characteristics are called species so species is basically a group it is not an individual so an individual cat cannot form a species of course you can have cat as a species and then you can have different kinds of cats under it that is very much possible but it's a group of such animals or plants which have some common and permanent characteristics so let's say human beings human beings is a species why because when you compare all human beings they have certain common characteristics they have two legs you don't see pe very often people with three legs okay two eyes right they have one nose two ears so there's a common characteristics which is shared by all the human beings so human beings is a species so a group of animals of course we know that man is also an animal although a social one right so a group of animals or plants with some common characteristics is known as species now there are various kinds of species which are there refer to part 2 of the video on species to get a hang on what kind of species are there.